Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode seven and eight for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising in the North Node. So let's see what the messages are for my Scorp. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising in the North Node. Please and thank you. What are the messages please for Scorpio? Oh, okay, everybody's getting the Ten of Swords. It could, I think because the moon, um, we just came out of Gemini season, but it's like the worst is over. We have the Three of Wands. This could be a long distance relationship that you were waiting on, or you, you're just done waiting on somebody. It could be a fire sign or a, a, a Gemini. Okay, because like, it's almost like the Three of Wands to me, it's kind of a very mysterious card. It's like, we don't even see his face. We're not sure if he has a face. Whatever he's waiting on, we're not sure it'll ever come. Okay, so it's it's um it's a very mysterious card for me, but it's like you're waiting for your ships to come on come in. Yeah, but you're not waiting for the ships. You see the ships, they're there. You're not waiting for them to come in, you're waiting for them to dock. Okay, it's like you can already see you can already see the future. All right, so it's like you, it's like you can see your future. I'm getting to you're a visionary. All right, let's see, we have the sun card. Yeah, you're waiting for the sun, and there it is. Okay, so I'm getting to like somebody could be expecting, maybe expecting a sun. I'm also getting to there is a spirit that is waiting for you to have sex so that it can come through. Okay. Yeah, so there there could be because the ten of swords can also mean being barren, being unable to bear children. You cannot bear fruit. That is the Gemini card. Believe it or not, or not, Gemini is a barren sign. You know, not all of them, but it just depends. But this means being barren. Okay, maybe you thought you would never be able to have children, but I'm getting, no, the universe has different plans for you. All right, let's see. We have the a higher font. Interesting. So you may be ending some type of religion or belief system or some type of rules or regulations that you once followed. Maybe this is about children. Maybe you thought you would never have them or you never wanted children before, but now you do. But I'm getting there is some type of spiritual being here that's been following you around, waiting for you. It's, it's like something is... It's like the sun wants to come through you. Okay, because it's like the baby doesn't come from you. It comes through you. All right, so let's see. Let's with two of wands. Yeah, it's like you're, you don't, you're not, you're not really sure what you want to do here. I'm getting to your, you're thinking about, you're considering moving. Maybe someplace where it's hot or by the water. You want to be, you want to be able to see the water from your window. Okay, because it looks like, looks like you narrowed down your choices to, to, you had three and now you have two and it's like, you know what, I'm going to take this one over here. Okay, I think I want to, I think I want to live here. Okay, yeah, we have the magician. All right. What is the Ten of Swords? Now, this could be because of this, this mysterious Three of Wands. That could be somebody online. You could be catfished. I'm getting... Somebody that someone that you have been looking at online is not who they say they are or they're not who they're not who you think they are. Because I still see like the man in the photo, he has no face. We have no idea. It could even be a woman. We're completely judging the picture. We don't even know if that's a man or a woman. It looks like a man from the back. But you're not it's it's like you can't be too sure who this person is. Somebody could be asking you to come see them that you've never seen before. You've never actually seen this person in in you never actually seen them in person. You've seen photos online and it looks great, but you're like, hmm, there's something that's very mysterious about this person or about what you're about to do. What's the Ten of Swords? Where's the Ten of Swords, please? Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so it looks like Something is over with a fire sign or someone who carries this energy. I'm getting to you're done doing witchcraft. You're not going to do witchcraft anymore. You're like, look, I'm done doing magic. I'm done doing witchcraft. I'm done doing that shit. Now, this could be from a distance, though. Maybe somebody has no clue that you were even doing this or you had no clue that somebody was doing this to you because they're so far away. So you think I'm getting to somebody is a lot closer to you than you think they are. 
I'm getting somebody could actually be in your neighborhood, but you think they're across seas or you think that they're in a different state, but they're actually very close to home. This is a very mysterious reading. Okay, what is the magician? What is the magician? I don't want to say like somebody's been watching you, but I feel like somebody has been watching you that you feel you think this person's far away, but they're not. I'm getting goosebumps. What's the, what's the, what's the magician, please? What is the magician? Yeah, we have the hermit. It's because somebody, somebody appears to be like a ghost. They don't come out of the shadows. You, you never see them or they never post anything or I'm getting too, if you're, if you're looking at somebody's IG picture and they never, they never post photos of them actually moving or videos, you never actually see them moving in the picture. You only see still photos. I don't know, I'm getting like something very peculiar about your reading here. Cause I'm getting like somebody has been looking for you or watching you or watching over you, maybe looking out for you. I'm getting to somebody has been, this is definitely some form of witchcraft or spell work. What is the hermit? What is the hermit? But I'm getting somebody has been doing this from a distance. What is the, what is the hermit card? Yeah, the queen, the king of wands, we have a matching pair. So it could be a fire sign, definitely. What is the, what is the king, the queen of wands doing? Yeah, the nine of cups. So it's almost like somebody just ended something with a fire sign or someone who was, I'm going to say promiscuous in this reading because the nine of cups means making love, being greedy. They both have their legs wide open. And I'm, I'm getting someone is like, it's like you don't want this person anymore. You, it's like you've, been, you've had your eye on somebody else. You've been watching somebody. What's the hierophant? It's like you've been watching and waiting, like strategizing on some, like being very stealth. What's the hierophant, please? Yeah, we have the world card. Yeah, so I'm getting a marriage is over. I'm getting a marriage has been over. Relationship has been over. But it's you've made it appear like you you've made it appear like it's it's been ongoing because it's like you're trying. What's what's the three? What's let's just keep going. I'm trying to pull this story together. Right? So I'm getting a marriage is over or a marriage is finalized or if somebody was being very promiscuous or flirtatious, that's that's coming to an end. The nine of cups, though, it could be pregnancy too. So I'm getting like somebody could have told you like they were pregnant, but actually this person can't even have children. They're barren. Okay, what's the three of wands? But it's like you've had your eye on somebody else anyway. Yeah, we have the, we have the uh, title card. Yeah, it's like you've been watching somebody in the distance, the sun. Yeah, we have the four, we have the four of cups. Interesting. And we have the death card. Hmm. Cause it's it's almost like this person has no interest in changing. Maybe I'm getting to somebody is very selfish to the to the point where they don't want children because they don't want their bodies to change or they don't want to go through that type of change. They feel like it's going to affect their beauty or affect their body too much. They don't want a kid. They care about their body more. They, they care about how people see them. They want to be sexy after. They, they want to be forever sexy. And I'm getting that, maybe that kind of turns you off. What's the, what's, the, uh, what's the title card? So I'm getting that's enough for you to end this because you want children. I'm, I'm getting somebody else does not. I'm getting like somebody keeps killing your children. They keep getting abortions because of, that could be for some of you. What's, what is the, uh, the title card? Okay, we have the page of wands. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely someone online, someone young. I'm getting a young fire sign, someone who's very handsome or sexy, ambitious. I'm getting too like I'm not I'm not gonna say you touch yourself thinking about this person, but possibly. Because as you, as you can see, the page of wands, he's holding a phallic symbol. As you, if you look real close, you can see the tip. All right, so it's it's like you've been watching this person. In all their mysterious glory. What's the two of wands? It looks like you have already made your choice, Scorpio. Maybe you have no interest in children. You don't want more children. And you kind of want somebody who, who has the same idea. Maybe you already have enough children. 
or you've lost so many children, you've been, you, you, you're kind of morbid about it. Cause it's like this person is like sitting here gloating, like, yeah, I'm not having kids with you. And you know, like it's, it's almost like somebody is like laughing at the fact this is, I'm getting like, I'm getting a little something that's kind of evil and cruel. Okay. What's the two of wands? The two of wands. Yeah, the six of wands. Yeah, you're you have your eye on someone online, someone who's very popular, successful. All right, someone who gets a lot of attention. I'm getting a lot of fire in your reading. If it's not a fire sign, it's someone that you find to be incredibly attractive, ambitious, self starter. All right, someone who's very outgoing. Someone that you find will be a good mother or father. What's the nine of cups? I want to see what this is. I'm getting like somebody has a drinking problem, and that could be affecting like they they can't have children. Or like somebody's on drugs and like their their womb is like maybe like they just they their womb is very toxic and they can't carry a child. So maybe they tell you like, yeah, I'm pregnant, but they're not really pregnant. They I'm getting they keep lying to you about this. They like every so often they say, Yeah, I'm pregnant, but they're not really pregnant. It's like they're teasing you. They know you want a child or you want more children. They kind of use this as like I'm getting like somebody is, I don't know, what's the nine of cups? Nine of cups. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. It's like somebody is rubbing it. Somebody gets off on like making you think they're pregnant and then saying, no, I'm, no, I'm not. Or they get pregnant and then they get rid of it. And it's like they, they think that's funny. Or somebody just wants sex. Like they don't really want anything more than that. Okay, uh, King of Wands. And I want to see what the Death card is as well. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Death card. Yeah, the star. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting somebody is changing somebody. This could be like a young prodigy. Somebody's an upcoming star. Like somebody has a lot of potential. And I'm getting this is the one that you this is the person that you're choosing. Okay, it could be a young Leo. We have a lot of Leo energy here. But I'm getting somebody who's young and fiery, someone who's young and they're on fire, a prodigy, a, a genius. All right, somebody who knows how to make shit shake. Okay, seven of swords, please. So this could be starting off as an affair, but I'm getting you are willing to end your relationship for this other person. Okay, seven of swords, please. Yeah, I'm getting strategy. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you've been strategizing. You've been watching them. You've been, I, I'm getting, you've been praying on someone, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, we have the six of swords. Yeah, you want to go see them. You, I'm getting, but you're nervous. All right, let's see. But I'm getting, you are moving on. This could be something that's a little bit unnerving. It's not something that you're completely comfortable with, but I'm getting this person is like, they have just enough fire to like get you going. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm getting you just like to watch them. You enjoy watching this person. <laughs> All right, let's see. They could be, I'm getting a tender Roni. Someone's younger than you. Okay, we have a uh, stay optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, stay optimistic. I'm getting you have. I'm getting to this person you're dealing with. They're very optimistic and happy and jolly, upbeat. Yeah, we have chemistry. Yeah, the chemistry is crazy. All those, all those wands. But I'm not really getting any sex yet, though. It, not with this other this person over here. This is this person's different. I'm getting this person over here. There, there's there hasn't been any sex, and we have give it uh, give it a chance. We have. Uh, healing and learning, forgiving and learning. Okay. So I'm, so I'm getting, you have to forgive this person over here so that you can treat this person over here more like better. All right. All right. So I hope this reading helps you. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.